I just wanted to do a quick update video. Um, let's talk about the machine for a second and how it's set up. You want to make sure that your CC light is lit up and not your CV light. If you're having problems with the voltage jumping around and the current jumping around, make sure that your leads are set up correctly. You want to make sure that your red lead is on your copper anode and your black is on your item that you're electroforming. Also, temperature can play a factor, so you want to make sure that you are not in a cold environment. I think the consensus is 60 degrees that you don't want it to go below. So if you're in a garage or something, you're going to want to take it inside, or you'll have problems with things plating really slow. Um, Let's talk about solution. I was using roughly two cups of root kill in this 32 ounce container and then filling it up with distilled water. Not using battery acid or brightener. And I just wanted to show you one of the items. And this is, has been out of the bath for a while. You can see it's not very shiny. Um, if I polished it for a while, it would get a little bit shinier, but not much. So recently I switched over to the Midas Rio Grande Electro Forming Solution, and then I also bought the Midas Brightener Replenisher. And I also went and bought Sherry Hab's Electro Forming Paint. So I just wanted to show side by side the difference in the outcome. And I'm sure you can see it's huge. So they both work, but it just depends on the outcome that you want. Um, if you're going to patina things anyway, then this doesn't make a huge difference. But if you want to have the shiny copper, it's definitely worth it to buy the brightener. And I'll probably go back to doing my own solution and try it with battery acid and the brightener just to compare it. Um, also, I wanted to talk about frisket. So this is sold in the watercolor department of any craft store and it's used for masking off the areas where you don't want the watercolor to go. Um, if you just take a brush and dip it in your frisket, you're going to ruin your brushes. And that seems really wrong considering they sell it in a paint department and why would they sell something in a paint department that ruins brushes? So. I watched some videos on how to correctly use it and to keep it from ruining your brushes you just want to take, I have a brush here, um, with a little bit distilled water and some dish soap, you could use a bar of soap, and then dip it in your frisket and then cover your piece and let it completely dry and then you can put it in the bath. Um, the dish soap doesn't seem to affect the bath at all, so that's a good thing, and your brush will not be ruined. Um, why you want to use frisket is to seal something like this cactus quartz, which I have some amethyst points attached to it. So to seal this with nail polish or a polyurethane, um, you'd have a really hard time getting it off once it's finished. With frisket, it'll just peel off these little nooks and crannies. I don't know if you can see here, but you can just peel it off. It doesn't work very well with one hand. But those are my tips and tricks so far. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks for